hello and welcome to you all once again in learn more youtube channel today i am here with one new question question is related to flow chart as you can see in your screen draw flow chart to display first 10 natural numbers okay according to our question our output should come first 10 natural number means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 this should be our output this is our expected output okay let's start the flow chart now okay as you all know that our flow chart starts with oval shape with the start okay let me draw here oval shape and a text that is start now let's use arrow key arrow this is our expected output okay the first output is one the first output we should display in our output screen is one okay that's why what we do we use one variable and we assign that variable as one okay let's use your rectangle symbol to assign the value okay a rectangle using a rectangle to assign the value right click add text let me use a variable i equals to one y one because the first is it need to display in our screen is one so i is equal to one now what we do we use arrow again arrow is here now we use here parallelogram symbol why parallelogram symbol because we are going to display the value of i now we will explain you don't be worry okay right click over here and the text display display i value of i is displayed by i because the first number we are going to display in our output screen is one so we display if the value of i is one now the value of i we will increase by one at first let's use arrow why by one because you can see here the difference between each number one two three can see the difference between each number there is only one one difference so we will increase the value of i by one again we will use rectangle shape okay increase the value of i by one click add text capital i is equal to i is equal to I plus one i is equal to i plus one the value of i is increased by one why one because you can see the difference everywhere there is one difference one two three four one two three four five there is one difference so we will increase the value of i by one now we will check the condition by using decision making box that is or you can say diamond shape symbol that is here it is use arrow key in the middle i will explain you once again from very beginning now checking the condition a text is is smaller or equal to 10 question mark And let's use question mark and question mark now if this condition satisfy then we will do display i we will repeat the display i statement okay let's go to the insert and save 
add but first let's write here true if this condition satisfy but let's make arrow Just In arrow, if this condition is satisfied, then we will go to split side. Let's see here it is. Display. Here we have to write true. If this condition is satisfied, then we will repeat the display statement. If this condition became false, if this condition became false. use arrow if this condition become false and our full chart will be stopped right click hit text and stop here you have to write false false if this condition became once then our flow chart will be stopped. Now let me explain one by one. Once again, you can see our question draw flow chart to display first 10 natural number. Your output should come 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, I will show you practically how this flow chart works and I will explain more clearly. As you have seen, at first we have done start as you all know that our flow chart starts in oval shape then after i is equal to one we have assigned the value of i one why we have assigned one because the first expected output is one that's why we are using i is equal to one now display i as soon as we do display i then in our output screen what happens one is displayed let me do it practically how this flow chart works now display i means the value of i is one one is displayed now i is equal to i plus one the value of i is increased by one now it became two before it was one before increment it was one after increment now it became two now checking the condition is i is smaller or equal to 10 it is smaller than 10 the condition is satisfied now it will go to true side now it will go to true side and again it will display i value of i is 2 it will display 2 and looking here practically how it works this flow chart is working now again the value of i is increased by 1 now it became 3 is i is smaller than 10 yes it is smaller because the value of i is 3, 3 is smaller than 10, the condition is true. Again, it goes to true side and it display i. The value of i is now 3. Now again, the value of i is increased by 1. Now it became 4. Checking the condition is i is smaller than 10. Yes, it is smaller because the value of i is 4. Condition is satisfied true. Then it goes again upside and display i. The value of i is 4. Again. The value of i is increased by 1 now it became 5 checking the condition is i is smaller or equal to 10 yes it is smaller the value of i is 5 that's why it is smaller so condition is satisfied again two side it will go again it will display i value of i is now 5 in the same way the value of i is increased by 1 now it became 6 checking the condition is i is smaller or equal to 10 Yes, it is smaller because the value of i is 6. The condition is satisfied. It is good. Two side again, the value of i will be display i. That is 6. Again, checking the sorry, again, the value of i is increased by 1. Now it became 7. Checking the condition is i is smaller or equal to 10. Yes, it is smaller because the value of i is 7. Again, condition is satisfied. It will go through side and it will display the value of i. Now display 
7 value of i is increased by 1 now it became 8 checking the condition is i is smaller or equal to 10 yes it is smaller because the value of i is 8 now again it will go through side and display i the value of i is 8 again the value of i is increased by 1 now it became 9 checking the condition is i is smaller or equal to 10 yes it is smaller condition is satisfy because the value of i is 9 now it will go through side and it will display i value of i is 9 now again the value of i is increased by 1 now it became 10 is i is smaller or equal to 10 is not smaller but it is equals to equal to 10 so it will go through side and again it will display the value of i that is 10 you can see here expected output and our our output is matched here now again the value of i is increased by one now it became 11 checking the condition is i is smaller or equal to 10 no it is not small nor equal so the condition does not satisfy so it will go to all side and our full chart is stopped finally we got our output see here this is our expected output and and our real output from this blue flow chart is matched and this draw flow chart to display first 10 natural number is absolutely correct hope you understood this flow chart to display first 10 natural number if you have any confusion comment below and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you very much